Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this logic circuit and this circuit is implemented using the PMOS transistors. And here for our reference, we have been also given that how the NOR gate is implemented using this PMOS transistors. And here we have been also given that for the given digital circuit, some of the nodes are intentionally shorted to implement the wired logic. So here, we have been asked to find the number of distinct values for the inputs A, B, C, D for which this output Y will become 1. So let us find that. So in the question, we have been already given that all the logic gates in the circuit are implemented using the PMOS transistor. And for our reference, here we have been shown that how the NOR gate is implemented using this PMOS transistor. So whenever both the inputs of the NOR gate are 0, then and then only the output of the NOR gate will become 1. So as you know, for the PMOS transistor, when the input is equal to logic 0, then the PMOS transistor will get turned on. So here, whenever both the inputs C and D are 0, then both these PMOS transistors will get turned on. And because of that, they will act as a short circuit. So in that case, this 5 volt or the voltage close to the 5 volt will appear over here. And in this way, the output will become logic high. On the other end, if any one of the input is 1, then the output of this NOR gate will become 0. For example, if the C input is 0 and the D input is 1, in that case, this first PMOS transistor will get turned on, while the second PMOS transistor will remain off. And because of that, the second PMOS transistor will remain in the open condition. So in that case, through this resistor, this output node will get connected to the ground terminal. And in this way, the output of this logic gate will become 0. So in this way, this circuit will work as the NOR gate. And in the same fashion, all the logic gates in the given circuit are implemented using the PMOS transistors. So in the question, we have been given that some of the nodes in the given logic circuit are intentionally shorted to implement the wired logic. So as you can see over here, the output of this NAND gate and the NOR gate are connected together. Likewise, the output of these two NOR gates are also connected together. And if you see over here, then these two nodes are implementing the wired OR logic. So first of all, let us understand how this node will implement the OR gate. And to understand that, let us see this specific node where the outputs of the NAND gate and the NOR gate are interconnected. So here, the first circuit is the implementation of the NOR gate using the PMOS transistors. And earlier, we have just seen that how this circuit works as a NOR gate. Similarly, the second circuit shows the NAND gate. So for the NAND gate, as you know, when any one of the input is 0, then its output is equal to 1. For example, here when A is equal to 0, then this PMOS transistor will get turned on. And because of that, this 5 volt will appear over here. So at that time, irrespective of the input B, the output of this NAND gate will become logic high. Likewise, when both the inputs are 1, then both the PMOS transistors will remain in the off condition. And in this condition, through this resistor, this output node will get connected to the ground terminal. So we can say that in this condition, this output is equal to logic 0. That means whenever both the inputs are 1, then the output is equal to logic 0. And in this way, this given circuit will work as a NAND gate. So in the question for the given logic circuit, the outputs of the NOR gate and the NAND gate are connected together. So now let us see how it will work as the OR gate. So let's say for a specific input condition, the output of the NOR gate is equal to logic 0 while the output of the NAND gate is equal to logic 1. That means in this condition, the voltage at this node is equal to 5 volt while the output of the NOR gate is connected to the ground terminal through this resistor. But now as you can see, since both the outputs are connected together, so the same 5 volt will also appear over here. And because of that, if we see the overall output, then that is equal to logic 1. Similarly, for the second case, suppose this NOR gate output is 1 and the NAND gate output is 0. In that case, the 5 volt will appear over here. On the other end, if we see the output of the NAND gate, then through the resistor it is connected to the ground terminal. So once again, in that case, this 5 volt will also appear over here. That means in the both the cases, if you see, then the output of the oral circuit is equal to logic 1. That means whenever any one of the output is 1, then the output of the circuit is equal to 1. But if both the outputs are 0, then the overall output of the circuit will also become 0. 
For example, if the output of this NOR gate is logic 0 and the output of the NAND gate is also equal to logic 0, in that case, both these individual outputs are connected to the ground terminal via these resistors. And in that condition, if we see the overall output at this node, then that is equal to logic 0. So we can say that in this wired connection, when both the outputs are 0, then the overall output is equal to 0. But if any one of the output is 1, then the overall output is also equal to logic 1. And in this way, this wired connection act as a OR gate. That means in the given logic circuit, these two nodes will act as a wired OR gate. So once we understood that, then it is easy to find the input conditions for which this output Y will become 1. And to find that, first of all, let us find the expression of the output Y in terms of the inputs A, B, C, D. So here, if we see the output of this first NAND gate, then that is equal to A, B bar. Likewise, the output of this NOR gate is equal to C plus D whole bar. So let's say one of the input to this AND gate is equal to Y1. So if we see this Y1 output, then it is the OR connection of these two outputs. That means this Y1 is equal to this AB bar plus C plus D whole bar. Or we can say that that is equal to A bar plus B bar plus C bar dot D bar. So this will be the Y1 output. Similarly, let's say the second input to this AND gate is equal to Y2. And as you can see, this Y2 is the OR connection of these two outputs that is equal to B bar and the D bar. So we can say that this Y2 is equal to this B bar plus D bar. So in this way, we got the expression for the Y1 and Y2. And if we see the overall output Y, then that is equal to Y1 dot Y2. So we can say that this Y is equal to this A bar plus B bar plus C bar dot D bar dot B bar plus D bar. So if we multiply this B bar with the first bracket, then we will get this a bar dot b bar plus d bar plus b bar dot c bar dot d bar. Likewise, if we multiply this d bar with the first bracket, then we will get this a bar dot d bar plus b bar dot d bar plus c bar dot d bar. So now, from these four terms, let us take this b bar outside and let us simplify the expression. So for that, we can write this expression as b bar dot 1 plus this a bar plus c bar dot d bar plus d bar and further we will have this a bar dot d bar plus c bar dot d bar so this term is equal to 1 that means we will have this b bar plus a bar dot d bar plus c bar dot d bar so in this way we got the minimized expression for this output y. And from this, we can easily find for how many input conditions this output y is equal to 1. So to find that, let us represent this expression in the k map. And from that, we will easily find for how many input conditions this output y is equal to 1. So here, since we have a 4 variables, so to represent this expression in the k map, we require the 4 variable k map. So here, this B bar corresponds to these 8 min terms. Because if you see over here, then only this B variable is not changing. And moreover, its value is equal to 0. Therefore, this 8 min terms corresponds to B bar. Likewise, this A bar dot D bar corresponds to these 4 min terms. Because if you see over here, then in this group, the variable A is not changing. And similarly, the variable D is also not changing and the value of both the variables is equal to 0. Therefore, this group corresponds to a bar dot d bar. And likewise, this group corresponds to c bar dot d bar. Because in this group, both variables c and d is not changing. And the value of both the variables is equal to 0. Therefore, this group corresponds to c bar dot d bar. So now, if you count the total number of min terms, then that is equal to 11. So from this we can say that for the 11 different input combinations, the value of this expression y is equal to 1. And from this we can say that for the 11 distinct values of the inputs a, b, c, d, the output of the given logic circuit is equal to 1.